This review examines the pros and cons of a proposed acquisition of company ABC by company XYZ. Company XYZ is a major manufacturer of whatchamacallits. Its manufacturing process makes it a major consumer of thingamabobs. Company ABC is a major manufacturer of thingamabobs. Initially, XYZ was looking specifically to secure a reliable supply of thingamabobs which XYZ needs to manufacture whatchamacallits. A number of options were considered. One option is to do nothing. Currently, XYZ acquires thingamabobs in the marketplace from a number of suppliers, ABC being one of them. As a second alternative, the option of a long-term purchasing contract was also explored. Finally, an outright acquisition became an option and was looked at in detail. Given the main driving concern of XYZ, the first option is the least desirable. The second was explored, but no existing producer of thingamabobs is currently willing to sign any contract longer than three years duration. For this reason, we do not recommend this option either. The remaining option breaks down further two ways. Continue operating ABC as a separate entity with XYZ getting first priority on its output or merge the two companies. Running the two companies separately is faster in the short term, requiring minimum upfront effort. Nevertheless, we recommend XYZ consider a complete merger. Firstly, to make the independent running of ABC economically feasible, it has to produce and sell thingamabobs to the general market, not just XYZ. XYZ's core business is the manufacturer of whatchamacallits. Running both companies instead of just one takes away the focus of upper management. More importantly, there are major cost savings to be had. We learned this when we delve into the internal business units and processes of both companies. The manufacturing process itself of thingamabobs is straightforward and self-contained. XYZ should just keep this alongside its existing whatchamacallit manufacturing. The rest of ABC consists of business functions already duplicated in XYZ. Economies of scale allow the current business infrastructure of XYZ to support the thingamabob manufacturing process while requiring little from the rest of ABC. One cost saving in reverse has to do with IT support. This is outsourced in ABC and it turns out it would be cheaper for XYZ to follow suit. Doing all this also makes it feasible to start and stop thingamabob manufacturing based wholly on XYZ's needs, resulting in further savings. There is, however, a caveat, a red flag to be raised. The manufacture of thingamabobs requires the use of organium. In the last few years, it has come to light that there are hazards involved in the manufacturing use of organium and this has led to some lawsuits by affected workers against their employers. Over the latest four years that data is available, a clear pattern has emerged. The potential risk and loss from these lawsuits and settlements has been increasing. Should XYZ go ahead with the acquisition of and merger with ABC, the manufacturing process for thingamabobs must be scrutinized to minimize any potential liability of XYZ. This is not just true going forward. Potentially, workers at ABC may have already been affected. And by acquiring X ABC, XYZ would also be picking up their potential legal liabilities in this regard. Even given this, however, it is the conclusion of this report that the merger go ahead.